Nick, what is expected to come out of uh, today's meeting? Well, and as we speak, the leaders are sitting down virtually in large part uh, to decide on what to do next. And as you said, the measures that are in place in Germany should be extended until January the 31st uh, at the earliest. So that means uh, no schools. That means you have to wear a, public, a mask in public transport. All non-essential shops are closed. It's a lockdown. And uh, there could possibly be even more strict measures put in place. What Angela Merkel said over New Year's during her New Year's Eve address, which is a traditional thing, but in this year was completely devoted uh, to COVID was that things were going to get uh, harsh through the winter uh, before they got better. And now what we know the government is thinking of is the gatherings of families over Christmas, over New Year's, which are highly regulated. There are all kinds of rules about how many people could gather. Alcohol sales were limited and so on. But we expect a spike mid-January. And I think that that's what this meeting is all about, trying to uh, foresee that spike and make sure there are enough ICU beds and enough medical personnel to deal with what could be uh, another swell in the wave here in Germany. Nick, there's also been uh, criticism of Germany's vaccination program. What have been the issues? just hasn't been deployed quick enough. Um, you know, you know, the situation in France, I mean, all of these countries around the world, you know, people have been waiting for the vaccine. Uh, it was invented. There are now several and everybody's saying, you know, when, when do we get it? And then people understand it's going to be the elderly and so on. And that's what happened in Germany. Uh, the health minister looks like uh, he may actually be sort of deprived of the dossier. There may be a sort of vaccina vaccinations are announced, uh, announced tomorrow. The problem has been the vaccines that got to Germany um, were first deployed to uh, elderly persons' homes, and so mobile teams went out to get them, and so they weren't able to hit the numbers that the health minister promised, and people held them to that measuring stick, and it looks like a failure for him. Of course, it's a pandemic. There's all kinds of things that are unforeseeable, um, and, uh, you know, the, the way forward really is Germany's got 400 vaccination centers. Uh, they're ordering more vaccinations from Moderna as well, another company. So the, the keenness of the chancellor who's going to meet with other ministers as well as the health minister tomorrow is to make sure that there is something in place that satisfied public opinion. People here recognizing that, you know, the first vaccine was invented in Germany. And so people are asking, well, why aren't we getting it uh, before everybody else? Why are the people in, in the United Kingdom and the United States getting it in much larger numbers than us? Nick Spicer, thank you.